Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about how having a car crash can give you driving anxiety. I work with people all over the world online to help them overcome their fear of driving. And one of the most common things I work with every day is people that have been in car crashes and now they've got some kind of fear of driving. Do you find that your palms are sweating when you drive? Do your hands feel clammy? Do you get stomach aches? headaches? Do you even break down in tears and have to phone someone to come and pick you up? Well if you do, don't worry because although that may sound strange and unusual to you, I'm used to it because <laughs> I work with this all the time and it's like oh yeah yeah I've heard that before and people often think that it's only them that have got it but it's not so don't worry about it okay? You're not the only person who has those symptoms but how did you get them? But where a lot of people go wrong is that they think it was the crash itself that caused you to get that problem, but it actually wasn't. This is why if you go to a driving instructor, they won't be able to help you. Because you see, they always focus on the crash. They ask you things like, what speed were you doing? Were you checking the mirrors enough? Were you on your phone? Were you distracted? That's got nothing to do with it. People who do other things like CBT and counselling, they will focus on the future. They'll say, just go out driving and get used to it and just gradually build up and you'll be fine and you'll feel great and it'll all be okay. That's not going to work because you see, the thing is that I understand that they don't, is that it's not the crash that caused the problem and it isn't what happens after in the future that fixes it. So let me explain exactly what happens. Imagine that I was to have a car crash right now. For whatever reason, my fault or not, doesn't matter. Imagine I have a crash. This is what happens inside your head when that can happen. And this all happens within fractions of a second. It happens so fast you wouldn't even know. You have a crash and your mind thinks, wow, that could have killed him. I know. I'm going to stop them driving. How can I stop them driving? So it goes into your past and he finds a feeling, a memory, a thought, a sensation or something that's unpleasant. Now I don't want to put any ideas into your head but it can be anything from your past. It could be an unpleasant memory of something that happened in your childhood. It could be something that happened not long ago, maybe a relationship problem. It could be actually anything, right? It's anything that you found bad. I've known it be a case where someone, someone was at a train station and they had a fear of escalators and they got really scared and panicked and their mind has attached that feeling to driving. So you see, when you have the crash, your mind wants to protect you and help you to not crash again because you could die. So it latches onto something from your past and it puts that onto driving. That's why when you drive a car, you get sweaty hands, your heart races. You're actually experiencing the same feelings you had when you'd had that original problem. So let's say that in the case of someone who was at a train station and they had this fear of escalators, they thought they were going to fall down and get hurt and they were feeling sick and their stomach started aching. And you get the same feelings now when you drive because you see your mind is making you feel that to stop you from driving. And that is the mistake people make. It's nothing to do with the crash itself. And I do get it when people say, well, it started when I had the crash. I get that, but it wasn't the crash itself that gave you the problem. It's the thought of what else could happen in the future that gave you the problem. And I know it can sound like the same thing, and this is quite difficult to explain, especially as I'm driving a car. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it works. So simply, when you have a crash, your mind latches on to a painful or upsetting memory, thought, feeling from the past. But what if you have another crash? What if you've got anxiety and you have another car crash? Well it doesn't have to be a car crash, it can be other things. 
I won't talk about that now because that's for another video but it doesn't have to be a car crash it can be any number of things that may happen that will give you the same problem so that's how you form a fear of driving after a car crash and that's what happens so if you want help to overcome that problem all you need to do is contact me through my website firstdrive.com and I work online with people all over the world I deal with all different time zones people in different uh, countries different cultures whatever I've done it all so don't worry about that I've seen her do all before and I am one of the world's leading experts on driving anxiety because I've spent the last few years training in it and I've spent 20 years teaching people to drive so I understand all about it so if you want to help with your problem get in touch with me if you want to check out more of my videos have a look at these videos on the screen now thanks for watching and as always i'll see you again soon for more videos